Hey guys, this is Angela Miali with PSP In Your Pocket. Today I'm going to talk about the mood elevator. I was actually inspired by our new um, officer for the officer selling program, Senior Vice President, Sean Healy. And he talked about the mood elevator this morning in my region staff meeting. And he said that sometimes we forget that when it comes to the mood elevator, it doesn't mean that we're supposed to be happy all the time. Last night at dinner, one of my peers asked me, why are you so happy all the time? How can you possibly be happy all the time? And I said, oh, of course, I'm not happy all the time. Um, I have bad days, but I try really hard to be grateful for what I have and that keeps my mood elevator up. And so this morning, Mr. Healy talked about the mood elevator and how it doesn't mean that we're supposed to be at the top and that we should never be at the bottom. It doesn't mean that we should never be in a bad mood, never feel some of these lower levels, um, defensive, anxious, stressed. It just means that we need to look at the mood elevator and understand where we are and maybe try not to make any um, decisions when we are in the lower levels of the mood elevator. That we try to get ourselves to curious when we can and that gets us into the upper levels. It doesn't mean that we judge ourselves for having a bad day or judge ourselves for venting or things like that, but we do it in a healthy way and we make sure that we understand where we are. So we did um, a deep dive in assuming positive intent this week with at the region staff meeting and talked about how assuming positive intent doesn't mean that we are assuming positive result, right? So when I am driving, I'm in my car now, I'm at the gas station just talking to you. Um, I wear my seatbelt because I assume that the other drivers on the road don't want to hurt me. I assume the intent is positive, but I still wear my seatbelt because I don't assume positive result. If I assume positive result, I could go in the back seat and make a sandwich, but Instead, I'm going to drive safely, follow the laws, wear my seatbelt. I have assumed positive intent of the other drivers. I don't always assume positive result. So I loved sharing that with my peers. I loved sharing it with you. And as promised, I am wearing a Chicago Bears shirt with all of you. Go Bears. Can't wait for the draft. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.